picking up where we left off, we, we had just found angle G in the calculator. There it is at that 17.61 degrees. I have to write that in the blank, but I need to convert that into degrees, minutes, and seconds. So that's on that alpha menu. You can hear my wife sneezing in the background. She sometimes has sneezing fits, and this is sneeze number three or four right now. Okay, so I can see that I'm going to write down 17 degrees, 36 minutes, 36 seconds. 36 whoops, degrees are minutes and 36 seconds. Okay, and remember I stored each of those angle measurements in the calculator, so I don't have any kind of rounding errors. Okay, next distance is EH. EH, I'm going to go ahead and call that thing an X. I have a right triangle over here on the left hand side. This is the hypotenuse, and this is the adjacent side. I'm going to use cosine. It's cosine of angle E is equal to my adjacent side is X and the hypotenuse is 101.06. So when the number 101.06 is on the bottom, in order to solve for X, I just multiply it times the cosine of E. Okay. I'll clear this stuff out. 101. Mm. Point oh six. Yep. So most of today's videos is going to consist of me typing things into the calculator. It'll be riveting. Times and typing them in incorrectly. The cosine of alpha e. Okay. And it's already rounded for me. So seventy two point five nine. That's what I'm going to write in the blank. Seventy two point five nine. Okay, so I have that length. Next, I'm going to find FH. FH, let me just call that H because it's the height of this whole obtuse triangle. So ignore the one we just found. Now, uh, this is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. This time I'm going to use sine of angle E equals my opposite side, which I'm going to call H, over still 101.06. Okay, so I would still multiply the 101.06 over. And notice that the only difference in the calculation is going to be the fact that I'm using sine instead of cosine. So if you realize that, it will save you some time on the calculator by just hitting second enter to pull that up and then just scroll over to this cosine and make it a sine. Hit enter, and there's my next number, 70.31. Now this FH, I need this length in order to find the other two lengths. So I want to store that in the calculator. And let's just go ahead and store it as an H. That's the letter I've been using all along. And instead of writing the number 70.31 down, which would tempt me into using it in a calculation, just write the letter H and then make sure in your calculator you store that sucker as H. Okay, so in the next video we'll find the last two lengths.